What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I don't think I've mentioned Pepe in a little bit. Maybe it might have been a couple of videos ago, but it doesn't feel like I've talked about it much. I've been talking a lot about, you know, some other positions that have made some positive moves um, while as well talking about the market, right? The overall market is not really looking the best. I believe cryptocurrency is a future. I believe cryptocurrency will be really, really big. Um, we will see these positions make a lot of people a ton of money as long as they have patience, but I know it can be difficult when you see your portfolio, maybe at a negative, or you see your portfolio staying the same. I know it can be pretty difficult, but I wanted to talk about Pepe in this video because I've seen, you know, people talk insanely positive about it and i've talked positive about it from time to time i still hold 67 million coins i'm not giving up on those coins there it was worth only like 130 dollars that i spent on it i am down on the position but either way i do see some potential in the amount of people that are a part of this but i've been seeing some things that are going around talking about how you know once we see the circulating supply drop down um, from the standard burns that are happening, things are going to get ridiculous for Pepe. And I, I kind of got thrown back a little bit because there are no ways to burn um, organically within this position. It's not something that was built into it. And I think there's some confusion that's going around. So I went to search and um, I'll definitely show you what we have here. So guys, if you could, Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys um, want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. My link to Patreon is in the description if you want to come over here and, you know, get any of these, these levels here. We have a bunch of different stuff. The most popular level where you get majority of things is around the profit hands level. So feel free to go over there. And not only can you get all the videos, educational videos and stuff like that, you can also get uh, messages directly to me if you guys want to just have a conversation with me. I know you can't reach out to me on Twitter. Um, but people can reach out to me on Patreon. That is more of a close knit like group. It's like a family and it's great to be able to have these uh, conversations with you guys. So thank you guys for, for watching and, you know, being a part of this, even watching here. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, but let's talk about Pepe because again, Pepe and, you know, the way that things have gone, we've seen it go up to a $1.8 billion market cap. So definitely some high levels and, you know, People, I guess, got into this somewhere around those highs. So maybe a 1.5 to $1.8 billion. And, you know, you're looking for the best opportunity to make a 2X, 3X, 5X, 10X, or get the biggest gain that you've ever seen, just like some of the other people that bought in at a $100 million market cap or a $10 million market cap. But honestly, it's going to be difficult to get to those levels without seeing uh, any type of burn. And when I say difficult to get to those levels, I mean percentage levels. So if somebody gained 10,000% or somebody gained 100% or, um, you know, I don't know, um, you know, 10x, 20x, whatever, right? That's going to be difficult for you to see now at some of these peak points that you bought at seeing now a instead of a $1 billion market cap, seeing an $11 billion market cap. So you know, it would be difficult to get to those levels. So what are people banking on? They're banking on burns. I've seen people say as we go into uh, Pepe, this supply here can be burned down and we could see it drop off. And they're not wrong. The supply can be burned down. We can see the supply burn. But the question is, does it organically burn? Does it do something automatically? Are we seeing something every transaction? So anyways, this is where Pepe is right now. We're seeing it at about a half a percent down. It is at a $560 million market cap instead of that $600 million market cap. Uh, volume, we're seeing about $200 million worth of volume within the position. And I do want to check the holders to see how many holders there are into it if it increased. We're still seeing about 115,000 holders, which is a lot and still can have a major push to a bull market when you see that many holders. So that's a good thing. Um, but it has not increased too much, um, you know, from the 115 that I saw the last time I looked at it. Um, but as we go into uh, Google, right, I thought I would just take it to Google to understand where this idea of it organically burning came from. Like, is it something that somebody just made up or what? Well, it comes from here. Right, and if you type in "Does Pepe Coin Burn?", Pepe Coin employs a deflationary mechanism that burns a small percentage of tokens with each transaction. 
uh, each transaction to create scarcity and potentially uh, increase the value of the remaining tokens over time. Now, this is wrong. There's no deflationary mechanism. There's no um, there's no percentage that's associated with it. Typically, when you see a deflationary mechanism within it, it is a burn that goes through in a tax, right? So you have 1% tax, a 0.2% tax, a 0.1% tax, whatever it is, you have a certain tax that's going to burn down the supply. One case would be Terra Luna Classic. With their on, on-chain activity, you're going to see 0.2% of that transaction go towards the burns. Obviously, it's going to have a split towards the community pool from there, but let's just say 0.2% is taxed. So anytime you do see that they would have a burn, the um, you would see a tax that goes through. Pepe does not have a tax. It doesn't have a buy tax. It doesn't have a sell tax. Another example would be Elmo. Elmo has a 10% sell tax. So again, you're not seeing anything on the Pepe side that's giving you the option. So why is this getting so confused? Why are people pushing this information that's wrong and there's no actual burn that's happening? Well, the reason that is, is because Pepe is set up to be burned, right? It's not something that organically burns, something that where you see normal transactions that go through. Because if it was, with all the transactions that happened, you would have saw so many that burned off because you saw billions of dollars that were flowing through this position at a lower price value. So if I'm able to buy you know, tens of millions for $100 or tens of millions for $20, you would be able to burn off tens of millions for $20. And just imagine if you have a certain amount um, you know, in the billions and you have a lower percentage, maybe 1%, you'd be burning off millions of dollars. We're not talking about just coins. We're talking about millions of dollars, which essentially could be, um, you know, billions of coins. It could be so many coins within it. So um, that's the thing. It sets up, it gives you the opportunity to burn coins. So it has no ability to go above a certain amount. So it sets you up to be able to burn and be deflationary. But is it actually deflationary and the real answer is no it's it's not fully deflationary we're not seeing that this actually has a deflationary mechanism so i guess to kind of clean that up a bit uh yes it is deflationary but it doesn't have a deflationary mechanism uh, associated with it you're able to burn it's just not burning right now the only way and this is not a form of promotion the only way that i saw anything that burned and you can correct me if i'm wrong if there's another one would be cremation coin and i've talked about that previously um their eth side burns uh pepe so they've burned like millions of pepe that's the only in instance to where i've seen a, a burn associated with it and honestly i don't even know where the burn wallet is maybe they do have a certain amount in the burn wallet but unless they actually have a burn address, I don't know where the burn coins would actually go, honestly. So that's always kind of eye-opening to not know where that's going if you do see a burn wallet. And maybe it's at such a low percentage that um, you can't even find it until you go to like the, the last page or something. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So um, anyways, that's my opinion. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, it does not burn. It doesn't have a burn mechanism, but we have seen burns that have gone through. I just don't know the wallet that they're using for these burns. Um, but organically, no, it's not happening. So guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That doesn't mean that I'm giving up on Pepe. I still hold my, uh, 67 million. Um, I still think it could be something that's deflationary and anything could change because, the the people behind this could develop something you know uh in the community that burns a heavy amount of pepe coin and bring this coin back to the top after kind of drifting towards the middle or falling towards the the later half of uh cryptocurrency of the of the top projects um but anyways guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button follow me on twitter follow me on patreon and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya